Hello and good morning to all my grade 9 learners. For this week, we will be discussing about dessert sauce. This is part of our quarter 4, week number 2. Our objectives are 1. Select and prepare sweet sauces. 2. Prepare variety of desserts and sauces using sanitary practices. And lastly, follow workplace safety procedures. Since the expectations are clear, let us now begin the discussion. Makinig po ng mabuti ha? I have here three pictures of different foods. Familiar ba kayo sa mga nakikita niyong pagkain? For sure, familiar kayo sa mga yan. Dahil yung mga pagkain na yan ay ino-offer sa ilan sa mga sikat na fast food chains dito sa Pilipinas. Yung picture number one, yan po ay yung sweet and sour chicken ng Chow King. And then yung picture number two, yung lasagna supreme ng Greenwich. And then yung picture number three naman ay yung burger steak ng Jollibee. And now, what have you noticed in these foods? Most especially, yung itinuturo ng arrow. Familiar ba kayo sa mga yan? These are called sauce. So, kung matatandaan yung class na pag-aralan na natin ito sa mga previous lessons natin. Ano nga ba ang sauce? It is a liquid, cream, or semi-solid food served on or used in preparing other foods. So, sabi nga dyan, isa itong semi-liquid food na ipinapartner or inihahalo sa ibang mga pagkain upang mas mabigyan ito ng mas masarap na lasa. Katulad na rin ng mga pagkain dyan sa picture, hindi ba't mas sumasarap ang kanilang lasa dahil sa mga sauce na ipinapartner sa kanila? Ganun din ang function and purpose ng sauce in making desserts. So, sauce in making dessert, it is a flavored liquid blend of different ingredients that adds flavor and enhance the appearance of the food. It can be included while you make the dessert like custard and custard cake or it can be added or poured in desserts like puddings and fruits. Kaya malaking tulong talaga ang ibinibigay ng sauce in enhancing the flavor and the appearance of the dessert. So malinaw yon, hindi lang basta lasa ang idinadagdag ng sauce sa isang dessert, pati yung appearance nito para mas malakas yung kanyang uh, ad dating or eye appeal sa mga kakain. Sabi nga rin dito, merong mga sauce na hindi lang basta ibinubuhos sa dessert para magbigay ng enhancement sa appearance. Meron ding mga sauce na inihahalo or minimix na mismo sa dessert like custard and puddings or custard cake. And now we have here the kinds and varieties of sauces. First one is rich sauce. So rich sauce is well suited to a simple dessert. So when we say rich sauce, ito yung uh, malasa, matapang ang lasa niya. Kaya kadalasan sa mga ganitong sauce ay ipinapartner sila doon sa mga dessert na hindi gaano katapang yung lasa. For example, vanilla cakes or cupcakes or puddings. So hindi ganun katapang ang kanilang lasa, hindi ganun ka tapang ang kanilang flavorings. So, most likely, yung sauce or yung rich sauce ang magdadala para mas ma-enhance yung lasa ng dessert. And then, number two, we have the light sauce. So, obviously, light sauce is suited to a rich dessert. So, opposite naman ito ng rich sauce. So, ang light sauce naman, kadalasan, ito yung hindi gaano kalasa ang flavor. That's why it is being added sa mga dessert naman na matatapang yung kanilang lasa. For example, dark chocolate mousse cake. 
Diba? So, to add enhancement doon sa mousse cake or dark chocolate mousse cake, maglalagay tayo ng light flavor sauce lang. Basta lagi nyo lang iisipin na dapat nagko-complement yung lasa ng sauce doon sa dessert. Hindi pwedeng parehas na matapang, hindi pwedeng parehas na rich sauce na, and then rich dessert din. So, hindi pwede dahil ang magiging labas niyan, mauuma yung kakain dahil masyado ng malakas or matapang yung flavor. Then, we also have number 3, the hot fudge. So, hot fudge is a delightful contrast to a cold cornstarch pudding or to a vanilla ice cream. So, I'm pretty sure familiar kayo dito sa hot fudge. So, ang example ng hot fudge is yung chocolate a fudge na inilalagay sa ating mga ice cream or sundaes. So, since rich ang flavor nito, uh, lasang-lasa yung chocolate, most likely babagi siya dun sa mga very uh, light lang yung lasa, katulad nga rin ng ice cream, katulad ng vanilla ice cream. Hindi ba every time na kumakain tayo ng sundae, is bagay na bagay yung lasa niya with the hot fudge. We also have hot sauce. So, these are made just before they are to be served. So, some sauce ay iniluluto o inihahain siya ng mainit dahil yun yung bagay dun sa dessert. For example nga, if you can imagine yung dessert bowl or yung chocolate bowl sa mga fine dining restaurants, na kapag isineserve na siya sa mga customer, kailangan siyang ipour or ibuhos ang isang hot chocolate para magmelt siya at lumabas yung dessert sa loob. So, if you can picture it out, uh, ganun ang example ng isang hot sauce. And then lastly, the cold sauce. So, opposite ng hot sauce. These are cooked ahead of time, then cooled or chilled, covered, and then put in the ref uh, refrigerator to chill. So, may mga hot sauce na syempre mas masarap na sinuserve kapag malamig or chill or nire-ref na muna. And those are the kinds and varieties of sauce. Now, let's proceed to the three categories of sauce. First one is the custard sauce. Custard sauce, these are consist of milk, sugar, eggs, and flavorings. So, nabanggit ko rin kanina, ang custard sauce, sometimes it is already mixed with the ingredients of the dessert. And sometimes naman ay pwedeng ibinubuhos na lamang siya kapag gawa na yung dessert. So, yung makikita yung pictures, those are examples of desserts na ginagamitan ng custard sauce. So, ano nga ba ang ingredients or paano ba ginagawa ang custard sauce? So, for number one, combine eggs and sugar, immediate stir without creating lumps. So, ang main ingredient ng custard sauce is sugar and egg. Then, milk. Number two, sca scald milk before adding it into your egg and sugar mixture. And lastly, slowly beaten hot milk. So, ganun lang kadaling gumawa usually ng isang custard sauce. If you notice, para siyang condensed milk, di ba? But custard sauce is thicker in texture compared sa isang condensed milk. At syempre, mas malasa siya dahil may halo na siyang egg and sugar. Next one is fruit puree. These are simply puree of fresh or cooked fruits, sweetened with sugar, other flavorings and spices are sometimes added. So most likely, ito ay mga blended or mushed uh, fresh fruits na hinahaluan pa ng sugar or liquid sugar and other flavorings para mas ma-enhance pa yung kanilang lasa. Semi-liquid ang kanyang texture at once na ito ay inihalo sa isang dessert at iyong nakain, makakaramdam ka ng mga konting buo-buo or tiny pieces ng fruits na iyong na puree. So, how it is being served or prepared? Fruit puree in a food processor or blender fitted with a metal blade, combine fruit, sugar, and lemon juice, process to a smooth puree about 30 seconds. Then, pour into a fine sleeve, sieve set over a bowl. So, one of the many ways in making fruit puree is to use a blender. So, nakikita nyo naman dyan sa video provided, di ba? Nag-blend or gumamit tayo ng blender para durugin at pagsamasamahin or i-mix yung mga fruits na gusto nating i-puree. 
So, there is another kind or way in making fruit puree. That is boiling. So, yung, for example, dyan sa video, yung mango na ating minashed ay ilalagay natin sa bowl at hahaluan natin ng sugar syrup and then pakukuluan at tapos saka natin isuserve. That is another way of making puree. Next one is the syrup. Ito yung uh, most widely used type of sauce. So, it includes such product as chocolate sauce and caramel sauce. Usually, consists of sugar and water. So, ito yung pinakamadali din gawin dahil most likely makakagawa ka na ng syrup using sugar and water lang eh. Pero, since we are talking about desserts and enhancement of the flavor ng dessert, uh, most likely mas magandang gumamit ng chocolate sauce and caramel sauce. So, syrups... How it is prepared? Number one, in a medium saucepan, combine sugar and water. Then bring to a boil, stir until sugar has dissolved, and then allow to cool. Uh, using those procedures, makakagawa ka na ng syrup eh. But if you want to add, uh, if you want your syrup to be extra special, di ba? Pwede kang maghalo ng cocoa powder para maging chocolate syrup yan. Katulad nung na nakikita sa video. And then, meron din namang syrup na galing sa fresh fruits. So, ito, magkaiba ito sa puree ha. Kasi ang syrup na galing usually sa fresh fruits, yan ay pinakukuloan lang at kinukuha lang mismo yung katas nung prutas. So, ang texture niya ay liquid. In liquid form talaga, hindi semi-liquid. Example dyan, as you can see in the video, yung cherry syrup. Gumagamit din tayo minsan ng mga maple syrup, di ba? When eating our pancakes. And now, if everything is clear at naintindihan na po ang ating lesson, let's proceed to our activity. Our activity is entitled, Give Me a Sauce. Directions, identify the best sauce for each dessert. Choose only from the custard, puree, or syrup. Okay, so let us begin. Number one, cake. Ano kaya ang best dessert sauce para mas ma-enhance pa ang flavor ng cake? If your answer is syrup or custard sauce, you are correct. Meron kasi tayong mga cake na very simple lang yung lasa, di ba? Tapos nadadagdagan lang siya ng sarap or ng flavorings once you add syrup or custard sauce. Number two, ice bingsu. Ano kaya sa tingin nyo ang best dessert sauce? I know you are familiar with ice bingsu. Sikat na sikat yan, lalo na sa Korea, di ba? At na-adopt na natin yan dito sa Philippines. If your answer is puree or syrup, then you are correct. Kadalasan sa mga shaved ice like ice bingsu, mas masarap na inihahalo ang fresh fruit puree or syrup. For number 3, let's have sherbet. So, para sa mga hindi familiar ko ano yung sherbet, ang pagkakaalam ko kasi sa sherbet, it is a shaved ice dessert na merong milk and then sometimes gelatin is being added. So, what do you think? is the best dessert sauce to add in a sherbet. If your answer is puree and syrup again, then you are correct. And then number four, eto familiar kayong lahat, this is suman sa lihiya. Ano kaya ang best dessert sauce para sa suman sa lihiya? Usually, walang lasa tong kakanin na to, di ba? Ano kaya ang magbibigay ng flavor sa kanya? If your answer is syrup, then you are correct. So usually, di ba, mga caramel syrup or coconut syrup ang ating inilalagay para mas sumarap ang suman sa lihiya. If you're not familiar with suman sa lihiya, you can check and search it in the internet. Okay, so let's have number 5. Number five is bread pudding. So, no more explanation. Alam kong lahat, lahat kayo ay alam yan. Ano kaya ang best dessert syrup for bread pudding? If your answer is custard sauce, then you are correct. So, yan ang pinakamag-enhance ng lasa ng isang bread pudding. 
Lastly is panacotta. So sa mga hindi familiar ulit ha, ang panacotta ay parang similar siya sa isang gelatin dessert. If your answer is fruit puree, then you are correct. Fruit puree is the best dessert sauce to mix with panna cotta. But, it is not limited to fruit puree, ha? Kaya nga nang sabi ko, depende pa rin sa panlasa ng kakain. So, any syrups will do, or any syrups ay pwedeng ihalo sa kung anumang dessert na inyong isiserve. Basta, tandaan, dapat ito ay magkocomplement sa lasa. Ng dessert. And now we are done with our activity number one. We can now proceed to activity number two. For activity number two, you need to prepare one simple dessert sauce following the proper procedures and using sanitary practices and workplace safety procedures. Please choose one from custard sauce, fruit puree, or syrups. So, class, mamili lang po ng isang gagawin sa mga yan. Make sure you are wearing your PPE when you are working on with your dessert sauce. Once you're done with the activity, please send the video of your work to my email address. And we are now done and finished with the two activities for this lesson. I will just be waiting for your outputs for activity number two. And now, before we end the lesson, always remember that sauce helps you to enhance the palatability of desserts. We have different types of desserts or dessert sauce such as custard, fruit puree, and syrup. Those are normally added to any desserts considering its taste. Make sure that when you add sauce, it will give improvement or it will improve the taste of what you prepare. Yun lang po ang ating tatandaan. mag add lamang tayo ng sauce to enhance the flavor of the dessert para mas lalong pasarapin to add flavor. But if you think the dessert is enough na without the sauce, then do not add dessert sauce. And that's all for this week, grade 9. Have a nice day! Oh,